Hello friends. Today we are going to learn about variables concept using automation in image A360. So basically variable nothing but a container that can holds the data or values. If you see the below example here I have a square which contains the value of 25. Here this square can be considered as a container and this can be called as a variable. Whereas it is holds the value as 25. And if you see the below name called is, this is the name of this particular variable. So basically in any programming language, once we created any variable, we will be assigning with a name to identify and to differentiate the variables. Okay. So in automation anyway, we have four types of variables. Those are user defined variables or custom variables and predefined variables or system variables. Along with these two, we will be having two more types of variables from control room side. Those are credential variables and global variables. Let's discuss about all these types of variables one by one. So first of all, user defined variables. These kind of variables can be defined by the developers. So these variables which have been defined are created by the developers are called as user defined variables. So these user defined variables are divided into many types based on the data. Like example, number type user defined variables, string type user defined variables, list type user defined variables, dictionary type user defined variables, record type user defined variables, etc. So let's take a real time example. Assume that you have three types of data. One is cloth and second one is water and third one is a poisonous gas. So if you want to store the cloth, you will be using a cloth container called bag. If you want to store the water, you will be generally using a plastic container called water bottle. In the same way, if you want to store some poisonous gas, you will be using a metal cylinder, right? In the same way, in this user defined variables also, if you want to play with the numbers, you will be defining the number type variable. If you want to play with the strings, you will be defining the string type variable and etc. And next is system variables. System variables are the default variables which are provided by the automation anywhere itself. And the values of these particular variables are fixed. So like clipboard, what is the value of clipboard? Whatever we copy, that would be the value of clipboard. And string, see you can say that, see that the string is there in user defined variable as well. But here they define some predefined string type variables. Okay, like enter. The value of enter variable is predefined, and the value of new line variable is predefined. All these variables belong to the string data type. That's the reason you can see the string type variables inside the system variable as well. And system. System is a variable that can be holds the system things like date. The date is always the system date and that a task name. The task name is always the our ATMX file name. Like this, these variables are already defined. You cannot modify. So these kind of variables can be called as system variables. And next credential variables. Basically the credential variables meant for to save the sensitive data like passwords. So we are going to automate some bank web application. So the variable should not be, I mean the value should not be stored unsecurely. So we need to secure the username and password of the particular web application. Then we will define these values inside the credential variables. So by defining the credential variables, we can provide the security for 
those values. So if you want to create these credential variables, you should having the AA admin role or AA locker admin role. Example, web application, bank web application credentials are email authenticators like your email server and you email port. All these are sensitive data. They should be stored in a secure manner. You cannot save them in notepads or general variables. For this kind of requirements, these credential variables can help to us. And next is global variables. This feature can be used to define the variables in project level. And these can be defined in control room by the user with a automation where enterprise admin role. So basically see, in entire project, you want to place your input documents in particular folder path only. Output uh, documents in particular folder path. Errors in particular folder path. At that time, so to avoid the mistakes, you will be defining the variables in global level at control room and you will ask your associates to use those variables so that all the projects and all the bots will maintain the data in the same place, right? So in this way, global variables will help us, okay? If you permission. So hope this video helps to you guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and share it to with your friends. Thank you. Thank you very much.